Here we are again, working with my friends from Boiler Trust in London. Now these guys really do um, do a lot of Eastman installations and uh, they get a lot of customers willing to invest the money in having some of the best kit available. So this job's quite interesting because I've used a close couple of tees under the boiler yet again. Um, not, not perfect, not textbook layout there, but uh, convenient. And I've done these um, quite a lot of times to find out that, you know, if you don't follow exactly the rules on close cup of teas, they still work and they still work really well. You don't get absolutely perfect hydraulic separation, but we don't actually need it to be perfect. We just need it to hydraulically separate our system as much as we can and to allow us to operate our system. So we've got our primary flow coming around and in effect the pump in the boiler is only seeing this circuit. Now this is how it should be, close couple of T's or low loss header under the boiler, never at the underfloor heating manifolds. Okay, so I say never, there are some very, very tiny uh, situations where you might consider it as one of my videos on YouTube that explains when you can but uh, basically just don't do it. Stick it under the boiler and be happy. And you cannot use close couple T's on the Wiesman if you don't have an unmixed circuit, okay? Because when you fire the boiler up, these valves will be closed as they are now, and the boiler will start to overheat and cycle and go a bit crazy. But if you've got load on it from your um, unmixed circuit, that is fine. Now also, this is another interesting part of this job. So. Um, I'm always banging on about not using an unmixed circuit for radiators and that's because radiators are nearly always in the bedrooms but in this house they're not the radiators are additional to the underfloor heating in the living room because they've got a gas fire and a decorative fuel effect fire which is rapidly pulling all the heat out of the room sending up the chimney so we have to put stacks of extra heat into that room to counteract that extra ventilation. I think five air changes an hour is what they say for a DFE. Obviously, if you turn the fire on, you accelerate the flow of air up and you cool the room down. There was uh, actually an episode of Mythbusters based on this. And in, in that episode, they measured the temperature in the rest of the house in Fahrenheit, because they're strange people from America. But um, I hope there's no Americans watching this video. I'm gonna get grief now. But anyway, in Fahrenheit, some strange old number from hundreds of years ago, they, they had a temperature drop of one degree in every single room except for the room containing the fire. Um, and that's basically where it was just sucking all the warm air out of the house and throwing it up the flue. So anyway, so this is what we're doing here. We're providing loads of heat to go straight up the chimney and leave the ladies' living room warm. So if it's running at night, because we don't have control without the mixers, it doesn't matter, that, that's basically going to keep going up the flue during the night time and won't be overheating the house. So, right, so we've got one circuit here which is doing the front, front room of the house. There's actually only uh, one loop on that, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, it, it's being supplied by a mixer, so she'll have perfect temperature control over that underfloor in there. And then the other mixer does the rest of the house, which is on this. Uh, I'm not quite sure who the... I think the mixer that we took off, there was a mixer and pump on here, but these are the original pumps. The mixers were from New Heat, I think. But these are the same manifolds that are done by Ambient. So I'm not sure if this is a New Heat system, an Ambient system, uh, or, or what. But anyway, um, there you go. So, yep, yeah, nice system, nice job. I like this layout. It's uh, particularly nice, I think, very uh, space conscious and... Uh, efficient we have to do the layout differently every time depending on where we've got to get the pipes to and some of them can get really really complicated but this was nice and simple and nice tidy little job and yeah okay so i uh, hope you like the work and as always i hope that oh yeah i forgot to ask i've been told i have to ask to subscribe give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already apparently it's important for my uh for my income stream apparently I, I get paid for this about 20 or 30 pounds a month and uh, I could get richer if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up so please do that 
and give me a little reward for all my efforts. And as always, I hope that helps.